It has been a couple weeks since the last time I did a Brett Favre video, you know, the new Welfare Kang. Well, thanks to one of my subscribers on Twitter, uh, shout out to them for sending me this article that just came out on the 28th because I definitely didn't know because I check every day and this must have kind of just like they kind of just slipped that in there. But we have another update when it comes to the new Welfare King. Unfortunately, it's nothing about him being criminally charged for the role he played in this welfare scandal scheme controversy that he is in. But it actually shows that there was another product in which he was trying to push with money that wasn't intended for him. A concussion cream. You heard that correctly. Something that should be used mainly for a lot of probably most likely football players who contract CTE. But yeah, that was a part. They said they dig a, dug a little deeper and discovered that he had some concussion cream that he was trying to push. And they linked that to the welfare scandal as well. So I'm going to read this article coming from the bleacher report that was posted October 28th, 2022. The latest development in the investigation into Brett Favre's alleged role in the misspending of Mississippi welfare funds has led to a probe into the former Green Bay Packers role in promoting a cream intended to treat concussions. Favre has been a big promoter of Prev, a Prevy Pro, a cream that has been in development to help treat concussions, even speaking about it during the Super Bowl in February 2020. Pharmaceutical company Prevacus, which was developing an inhalable concussion treatment at the time, received $2.2 million in Mississippi State Welfare Funds for the development of the cream, according to A.J. Perez of Front Office Sports. Perez wrote, But as the first handful of payments were made for the development of the drug, one source told FOS that Favre became more enamored with the development of the cream after he came across a similar product called Aloe MD. Thousands of dollars of the TAMP funds were diverted from Prevacus original concussion treatment to develop the PreV Pro cream. However, it was never actually produced in mass quantities to be sold to the public, in spite of multiple animal experiments that led to the deaths of at least a half a dozen dogs. I wonder what PETA has to say about this, considering they had so much to say when it came to Michael Vick. A source told Perez that Favre knew the welfare money was being sent to Prevacus for the development of the cream. However, Favre has denied that he knew where the money was coming from. Mississippi was given $70 million from the federal government to go to the Temporary Assistant for Needy Families program. Instead of going to those in need, it was allegedly dispersed in various ways and money was sent to people that didn't need it. The welfare funds investigation also led to the discovery that Favre had been paid $1.1 million for motivational speeches and promotional events that he did not perform between 2017 and 2018 per the Associated Press. In addition, Favre allegedly secured $5 million in welfare funds from, for the development of a new volleyball facility at the University of Southern Mississippi where he attended college and his daughter plays volleyball. Favre was ordered to repay the $1.1 million he received for the speeches and promotional events he did not participate in, in addition to more than $200,000 in interest. He has repaid the $1.1 million, but not the interest. The 53-year-old is currently not facing any criminal charges. Favre played 20... Yeah, I'm not going to read anything else. I'm not trying to read anything, any of his little accomplishments, because we ain't here for that. So, yeah. Another thing that he had his hand in that he was stealing money from to help promote. And it didn't look like it was, this looked like a failed experiment. It looked like it wasn't really getting that far off the ground to begin with. So that was money that was gone to waste. As a matter of fact, all the money that he received, in my honest opinion, went to waste except for his uh, pride and joy, which was that volleyball facility. As far as I'm concerned, that's the one that brought in the big bucks. Or that was the one that actually has something that is standing. Everything else was just a waste or anything else was just something that went into his bank accounts. And notice I said accounts because I'm almost sure, certain that all of that money didn't go into one account. Any money that he received personally, I'm sure it was dispersed over various many accounts. And I'm still curious as to why. And maybe someone down in the chat or in the comment section can help me out with this. Why he still hasn't paid back the interest. The interest is way lower than what he had to pay back initially, which was $1.1 million. He's still holding on to that $200,000 plus of interest. Like that's low ball compared to what he had to pay back. And that's really low ball compared to how much he actually has net worth wise. 
that's a drop in the bucket for him. He's holding on to that $200,000. Like that's the last 200 K plus that he has to his name. Although considering all the stuff that he stole, maybe that's not a bad idea for that to be all that he has left. But yeah, that's the most recent update right there. That one about the dogs where they said they had to sacrifice more than half a dozen, do about at least a half a dozen dogs in order to get this thing right. That's crazy. They didn't say mice. They said dogs that they tested this on. And it didn't even really fly off the shelf. I even think it left the factory to even get on a shelf to fly off of it. So you see all the money that's being wasted on things that it doesn't need to be when it could have easily went to the people that it was supposed to go to and it could have been spent the way it was supposed to. And let's not forget the people in Jackson are still suffering from bad water while all of this is still going on. And it says, and it says that this, you know, was something that was in development back in 2020, two years ago. During this is at the, that, that he was, it was spoken about during the Super Bowl of 2020. I'm telling you, this guy is a crook. And like I said, he comes from a long line of them that look just like him. No surprise or shock coming from me. And no surprise or shock coming from you either. I'll continue to, of course, follow this story. The big one that we want to hear, though, is that he's been criminally charged with something. It's like they have all of this stuff against him and they still refuse to criminally charge him with anything. Like at this point, you have all the evidence that you need. What else more are you looking for the, that you're trying to find where the bodies are buried? Is that and even then they probably still say, well, I don't know. But I bet you if Brett Favre was Brandon. We already know he would have been taken down from the first part of the scam or the scheme within the scandal itself. They wouldn't have had to say, oh, they have this, they have this, they have this. By the way, there's this too and that as well. One thing was would have been all that they needed and that would have been a wrap for them. And then, of course, you know, they threw out the whole thing. Well, he's not playing anymore, so we can't really go out. That's a bunch of BS. It doesn't matter that Brett Favre is no longer active in the NFL. Even if he was, they would have still drugged their feet. Let's be real here.